Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, the last sigil event just started, so I'll be doing a, a guide or tip video for that event. If you're still trying to decide what to get, I hope this short video will help you uh, decide and choose what, what is best for you. I will do a list, a quick rundown, what is worst. Uh, what has worst value and what has the best value um, yeah let's get started so in the last sigil event the absolute worst value and the bottom of your list should be gold like gold is so easy obtainable and you should only go for it like in the last day if you have some leftover sigils you should get gold for it because sigils won't stay for the next event they will disappear so use them up if you have three four more emblems left just use them up and get some gold but uh, before that don't use them for gold next on the list and uh, actually second worst value are the reset scrolls the reset scrolls have really low value and uh, yeah they cost double uh what faction scrolls cost and also they don't guarantee you they don't they don't give you any guarantee you will get the uh faction you actually need or want so it's it's all it's always a risk to go for them they could can be a total waste or they can be really good but the value is also very low so I would recommend avoiding these. Uh, next one on the list, third lowest uh, value are the purple and uh, well the silver and the gold emblems. These are very easy at obtainable just from the shop for gold. You can buy them for uh, 14 million and uh, 7 million golds, gold so they're very easy to get and they cost well they don't cost a lot but for the same value you can get much better rewards so don't take these until you uh, unless you really really need them uh, next best next worst thing why is it jumping down heroes like i know some of you might be uh, like thinking about getting a hero uh, i highly recommend not going for heroes unless you really just need one one more hero one like key hero for your formation for your yeah main team um, and you just need one copy to ascend one hero then go for them uh, if not if it's just to like get your team a little stronger or uh, ascend even further or like just get somebody to legendary plus it is not worth it like it is a really low value and um, yeah later on the list I will show you why or tell you why next one are the celestial and hyper genes the celestials and hyper genes they have a okay value in this event but uh atalia you can just get her from the challenger store so you can basically get her for free it just takes you it just takes you a little more time then the wukong you can acquire from the labyrinth store so why go for them in this event like it's it's a total waste the only one you could go for is mezoth because he's really hard to obtain and it's okay value so if you want to go and build a mezoth go for it but i personally will not go for any celestial hypergenes so next one on the list and actually the third best value on this event are where are they here they are the blue cards 
surprise, surprise. Um, these have actually like okay to good value. If you just um, if you just calculate everything, you can get uh, thirty seven point five blues for only one regular hero. That's like a lot of fodder. You can almost get 40 blues for just one regular hero. You can ascend, basically ascend someone or uh, upgrade another hero like really far. Um, it's, it's not good value, but it's okay value. And it's definitely more va valuable for you and your team than just going for one single hero. And this brings us to the second best, the Factions Rules. The Factions Rules, just like the blue cards, you can get uh, 30 Faction Scrolls for one regular hero. And if you pull, like if you with three 10 pulls, you have a guaranteed Elite. And you can choose the Faction as well. So if you're lucky, you can get the hero you want, plus you get a bare minimum of nine blues yeah one elite and a lot of dust so like and if you're lucky you can get three four elites so these have definitely more value than just a regular hero like if you don't know what you go for or like if you're still early game and you don't know what to go for i would highly rec recommend to just go from for faction scrolls or blue cards like these are so good and these le and that leaves just one more reward and that's the faction emblems faction emblems is for everyone mid to late game like if you have one or more mythic heroes this is the thing for you like the value is good it's actually the best value in this event and yeah, faction emblems are really hard to get. They're almost, not, not, not entirely, but almost only obtainable for, uh, for money or diamonds. Like, if you do a lot of 10 pools, yeah, every 50 pool, I think, every 50 summons... No, it's not every 50 summons, it's every fifth time you get... A reward from Rigby store so like it's a lot of pulls every time you pull a certain amount of heroes you will get like another 20 but it's like so few it's like 20 faction emblems a month so this in this event you can really stack up faction faction emblems and just uh, once you get your main heroes like a Rowan uh, like a Taylin, like a, anything you you're working on, you you get their their faction or their uh, signature item to level twenty. You can boost it up to level thirty and make them so much stronger. Like this is really for everyone mid to end game. Highly recommended. Go for these faction emblems. It's the best value. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, that's. The entire list uh, if you need any guides or tips what kind of teams to you uh, you can use or what, what kind of teams um, are best for battling enemies uh, let me know in the comment section uh, I hope this video was helpful uh, wish you have a great day see you in the next one bye take care guys